When we're studying security, quite often we need to emulate a lab environment that includes the presence of Windows Server IIS, Internet Information Services. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to deploy an IIS server so you can play with it in the lab. Hey everybody, Troy here and welcome. As I said in this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to install the server role called IIS, Internet Information Services, on a Windows Server 2022 virtual machine. Now, don't fret if you're not running the Server 2022 platform. This process is exactly the same if we were running Server 2019 or Server 2016. No difference whatsoever. Let me acquaint you with my environment. As I said, this is server 2022. It happens to be serving as a domain controller for a fictitious company and domain called corp.acme.com. I've named this server DC01. Now, the presence of a domain or domain controller is not required for this server to be designated as an IIS server or add this role. I just happen to be doing so because I want to be working with this machine in conjunction with some vulnerability testing that I want to do in an emulated lab environment. Now let's get the roll going. I'm going to hit the dashboard. At the top of my options, I'm going to add a role and features. I'm going to continue through the wizard to select my role-based or feature-based installation. And I'm going to select and confirm that this is indeed the server that I want to apply this role to. And next takes me to my roles. Down to the bottom, alphabetically, you're going to see web server IIS. When I click there, it automatically adds all the management tools and necessary supplementary features that come with this role. I'm going to hit next. No additional features that I want to add at this time. It confirms that it is going to do the default installation with these tools and management features. Next and install. Done. Now, this should not take long. This will take probably less than a minute and uh, it does not require a server restart. So if you are working in a production environment, this is a safe installation. So rather than make you wait, I'm just going to hit pause on the old recorder and I will see you when this is done. And complete. Boom. We have a successful installation of our IIS server role. I'm going to hit close and you can see that now I have the option appearing on my server manager dashboard. If I were to click on the tools option, I now have all the tools and management options associated with IIS at my fingertips. The actual server files live in the C drive. And so let me just pop into File Explorer here and I will pop into the C drive, local disk, inet, pub, move into the www root folder. That's the web page that is there by default. Now let's test it. I'm going to move to the Microsoft Edge browser down here and I'm simply going to check to see if I can access the website. What I'm going to do is type in the words local host. Now local host will take me to the website hosted by this local machine, IIS server running there. That's the default page I just showed you in the C drive. I can also get to it by appending that uh, local host with the port associated with HTTP, which is port 80. And you can see they'll take me to the same place. Now, lastly, the third way I can get to it is by typing in the IP address of this machine, which happens to be 192.168.243.185. And there we go. This is confirming that there is no security certificate here. So this is obviously not the way you'd want to run it. But definitely usable for a lab environment. And this website is actually viewable by other machines that are on the same network. I'm going to pop into another virtual machine that I've got running in the background called PC01, equally joined to the domain. I'm going to move to my Microsoft Edge and let's type in the IP address of our server 192.168.243.185 and there we go. Presto. You now have a functional IIS server role with Server 2022.